All right, welcome back to another Brotato run. That is why you're here watching this, is because you want to watch me. Anyways, let's go with the, the Ranger. I've uh, done it on Danger 2. I'd like to get to Danger 3. Let's go with the Shredder. Let's do Danger 3. So we're going to try to go to the next uh, Danger level. And that'll unlock another character for us. So the enemies are hard, stronger. There's, I believe there's more of them. And there's some special enemies that start happening on wave three, I think. Um, let's do plus one range damage. Let's get another pistol. Let's go... Don't want to go magic. Let's get the harvesting because I don't need melee weapons anyways. That's just really plus eight minerals at the end of the wave. So this guy gets a hundred plus a hundred percent like range stuff, uh, but you cannot make uh, you cannot pick melee weapons. So he's really good, and I I love being like an archer in uh, games. Let's do that. Let's get another one of those. Reroll. Ooh, I want. I should get that. A gentle alien. Got a shotgun. So yeah, I like being archers. I like being gun people. If I have a choice between a tank or some type of ranged person in games, I will probably almost always choose the ranged person. Uh, that's kind of my attitude and how I like to play. And I think I am better at arranged ranged people. Like my mindset works better that way. Like, as an individual character. That's how I like to do it. Let's get a crit chance. Let's get range damage. Increase enemies. Let's get some lifesteal. And then let's continue. So I like the critical chances that we have. We already have like an 18% chance on critical damage. That's what those yellows uh, damage are. Our criticals. See, this is that that elephant guy is and is uh that starts happening when you're on difficulty level two i caught that red bullet did you see that it wasn't going to hit me at all but i ran into it so i caught it um but yeah those elephant flying people they just uh actually do a lot of damage because it's another one of those red things all right so let's go medicine uh, medical gun get that level two get the shredder to level two let's combine these pistols let's get an smg and we'll get the glasses on the next round <laughs> so this is going to be all about getting ranged and attack speed uh i want to be able to shoot a lot farther I need more damage already because I'm not always one. Uh, I'm not one-shotting these units. That's probably just because of the difficulty I'm on that I should probably start uh, be able to dodge better, so then I can get more damage. Maybe get less armor, less HP. Oh yeah, as the range person, if I get like an item that gives me plus six HP, it actually gives me plus three. Ooh. Level 3 Shredder already? Uh, yes please. That and a free turret, a yes please. I'll upgrade the SMG next round. That turret is just going to help. It doesn't, it's not going to do a lot of damage, really. But event, it will help out eventually when there's a lot more enemies out there. Um, those guys, see how, see how many red bullets those guys shoot out? That's what's going to be tough, tough about this. That's just so many more red bullets that I want to grab. That I shouldn't. And this is only level 6. This is only wave 6. Think about when we're at like level... Or wave 15, 18, 20. That's just a lot more projectiles that are going to be out there. Let's see if I can kill that guy, get that item. Sweet. Experience for range? No thank you. 
This just helps me out in all categories, minus critical chance, but here's a plus seven critical chance. Yes, let's do that. It gives me plus one range damage for a little bit of regeneration. I'm okay with that. My level three shredder is doing good. There's quite a bit of explosions coming from it. So I would like to get uh, some luck. I'd like to get level four weapons and then start working on ranged damage. Uh, yeah, ranged, dam just flat damage, attack and attack speed. That is what I'm looking forward to. That is what I am looking for. But in the meantime, let's just try to kill as many units as I can. Um, more critical chance. Wow. 33% chance. That's awesome. Uh, let's go a little bit of minus range, a little bit of minus speed. More enemies. Yes. Um, I don't know if I should be saving those. Yeah, I'm not going to. Because I can't really upgrade them without getting rid of another weapon. So basically I'm looking for tier 2 weapons now. And I have plus 10% enemies spawning. Uh, there is an item out there that will uh, let my... I do 50% less damage, but my uh, bullets bounce. Or, I'm sorry, my projectiles bounce. I would actually really like that item. Uh, yes, I might be doing less damage. But, it's really, like, a really good item, I think. Especially with an uh, all-ranged uh, all thing. More, no, yep. More attack speed. Uh, let's go, let's go dodge. No melee damage. Reroll, let's go damage. This is really good. Let's get rid of this shredder. Let's reroll. This could actually be, no. It's only 13 damage. It bounces a lot, but it's only 13 damage. Ooh, yes please. I should have kept that out of the shredder. But I want that shotgun to be upgraded. <clears throat> so yes, I need attack speed and critical chance. I mean, critical chance is already like, what, 30%? One in three shots are criticals. And I shoot a lot. So yeah, I think I just need attack speed, really. Attack speed, lifesteal. Actually, I don't need lifesteal if I don't get hit, right? I mean, it's only level 9 and I'm getting complacent already. But with this type of damage, I can be getting be complacent. I mean, I can basically run at any unit I want and everything's just going to die. Ooh, the trees. I'm hoping that those trees give me free items. You can stop enemies from spawning by being on their red X right when they're about to spawn. But that means you're, you know, not getting all those item, uh, enemies out there. Lifesteal, yes. Damage, damage. Free turret. Free damage. A level 4 weapon, yes. I'm saving, on to saving that shotgun in hopes of getting potentially a tier 1 shotgun so I can get a tier 2 which then would give me a tier 3. I already have a shredder that's level 4 which is very nice. Level 10 and I already have a level 4 item. That is awesome. And I definitely increased my damage this last round by quite a bit. 
Oh, there's an item. I already have two free items. Thanks to trees and enemies that just drop them. So I'm already doing good. This is a good wave so far. This not doesn't feel like there's plus 10% enemies already. But there's prob probably a Oh, that's three items already? Three free items? Look at that. Four free items? Wow. Uh, yes, please. Um, no, I will not reduce my... I will do that one, though. Um, let's re-roll that. Uh, let's increase my dodge. Double bill of shotgun. Let's save you. Reroll shredder. Level 2 again. I will easily do that one. So let's save those two weapons in hopes of being able to free up a uh, weapon slot here on this next wave. So those angel wings just increase my speed and give me range. So I like range, I like speed. And it subtracts uh, my elemental damage, which I'm not doing any elemental damage, so... That doesn't really matter to me. So it is a great upgrade for the build that I'm currently going for. I'm starting to hope that I can get more of those free items. I mean, who doesn't like free upgrades and items? I should really call them free uh, upgrades, because they're not actually items. You can't get an item from one of those boxes. But my damage output is looking very nice. Um, let's actually go more dodge. Life steal, life regen, yes please. I really shouldn't be doing this with just two slots. Okay. Get a shotgun. Level 3 SMG. Yes, please. That'll give me a level 4. Perfect. <clears throat> so that'll be my uh, second level 4 weapon. And I'm only on level t uh, wave 12. Eventually here, I'm not going to be... I'm not going to need any weapons because I'll be on level 4. I'll be level 4 on all 6 of my weapons. I mean, not a bad thing to happen. Not a bad thing to have. I'm not really complaining about it. But as more enemies start coming in, I do need just more bullets going out. More attack speed is basically what I need. So I can have the, as much damage as I want, but if... I just don't shoot enough bullets to kill as that many uh, units. Doesn't matter if I one shot every uh, every opponent if I don't shoot enough. Let's re-roll. Plus 30 range. Yes, please for that level four weapon. Let's lock that because I'm hoping. Well, let's get another dodge. Yes. I mean, I could probably just get rid of the pistol, but I mean, I could... I'm not sure which ones I'm going to get a tier 3 yet for. It could be the pistol or it could be another tier 3 shredder. I'm leaving my option open by holding on to one of those slots. Ooh, a free upgrade. I like it. Thank you, uh, tree, I think it was. So there's a small little thing like these turrets, you can just kind of hang around your turrets and they will help out kill things. Um, that is a big thing, is they're just in the background. While they don't, like I said, I think I said earlier, are a different wave or something like that, they, they don't do a lot of damage, but it is a little bit of extra damage that you don't have to take care of yourself. But then everything starts getting clumped up on this side, and it's tough. And if you don't have fast fingers like me, then it can really start uh, hurting. 
Regeneration versus life steal. No, thank you. Um, none of those. Forty-five range, range damage. Yes. Rocket launcher. I will recycle a pistol for a rocket launcher. Yes. Shotgun level three. Yes. Um, this will increase my ranged attack by three, damage by three, critical by three, five. I'll lose a little bit of dodge. That's okay. I think I'm going to get rid of this shredder. Yeah, I'm not going to hold on to that shredder anymore. I have nice good range. I can attack almost the whole thing by just staying here in the middle. I mean, you can't obviously just sit here for the most part. I'm going to have to start moving around. But the rocket launcher will definitely help out clearing out uh, enemies. I need to not grab those red dots flying around. As they are not good things to pick up. Ooh, I did hit one, but I dodged it, thankfully. That's where my like 30% dodge rate is coming into, into play. I don't have a lot of life, but I do dodge quite a bit. My dodge chance is high. Not as high as it can get, but... Ooh, projectiles pierce one additional target minus 10% damage. Yes, please. And let's get that, and then let's get the Latin life steal for this next wave. <clears throat> Hopefully I will be able to finish one of these. I think I've lost like the last three rounds that I've tried to do. That rocket launcher is really just doing work. I'm okay with that. The rocket launcher and the shredder, the level 4 shredder, are kicking butt with all these extra uh, units out there. I was worried about my uh, amount of units that are going out there that aren't dying, but with the rocket launcher and the level 4 shredder, I'm not really too worried about it anymore. And now that they pierce, I mean that rocket launcher is technically like two rocket launchers, because it hits the enemies behind it too. Same with the level 4 shredder, that always, ex that always explodes. Ooh, three item. I'm not going to be standing still enough. Ooh, plus four armor. That's nice. Do I want another bandana? I don't think so. This is interesting, though. I will get rid of a level two machine gun for a level three shredder. Oh, I should have bought that other weapon uh, thingy. Darn it. Uh, there's that level two thing that I just got rid of. So I got rid of a little bit of knockback to give me more lifesteal too. As I don't think that this wave really, this, uh, this weapon needs, this uh, weapon that I'm using need the knockback. I might as well get that plus four lifesteal. Maybe I should have bought that other weapon, or the other plus one piercing, minus 10% attack. And just see how that went. I mean, I don't know if I've ever had that much piercing before. Alright, so I've definitely lost, like, you can feel that I'm not... My damage... You know what? My damage is okay. It's just me not being good, fast enough on the fingers. To dodge all the attacks. That's all it is. is I'm not dodging. Even though I have the dodge percentages, I am not dodging. Let's get a little bit more life. I, while I like this, I would have really liked to have that earlier. More enemies? No thank you. Let's get luck. Attack speed, crit chance, uh, range? Yes please. Let's get that. Let's reduce my speed by one, but give me an armor. Or my speed by two. Whatever. Whatever that item was that I bought. 
Let's just kill those guys because they are, they are actually very tough, especially when they turn red. When enemies turn red, they're just stronger, faster, better, do more damage. I think it's just like they're angry. So like if I shoot them, there's a chance that they go angry now. They and as you can see that they, they don't all always go angry. Just sometimes. This is pretty simple for now, but those guys do hurt a lot when they do touch me, so I just need to not let them touch me. Or I should stop running into them. I mean, it's not like they want, I mean, they do want to touch me, but it's basically I run into them. More armor or more dodge? Let's go more dodge. Let's get some more percentage damage. Um, more armor from minus damage? No. no. <clears throat> See, almost every single thing in this game is like a trade-off. And you're hoping that your trade-offs are worth it in the end. You increase something to decrease something else. But I think that if you just basically take every single, every single item that comes your way or every upgrade, it is actually like a net positive overall. Overall it's a net positive. Where you'll like if you if you take everything that's sent your way and you can afford it, then you would be in the green on your stats, I believe. I could easily be wrong though. And then yeah, this game is just very addicting. It is very fun. Every round is different. Just because of the randomizations of everything. You know what? I don't think I'm going to be getting much more uh, health. So, I might as well get myself plus 8 ranged damage. But I'm locking myself into 40 life. I mean, there's only... This is wave 19. Wave 20 is the next wave. So, if I want to buy a life, it has to be on this next round. So if I buy life, I need to buy life, then buy that other one to keep my life from going up, my HP. If I haven't survived, which is a very big if. Well, there's a free item there. There's some free items over there. There's a life regeneration thing right there. So those items on the ground, you don't actually have to pick up. No! Ay! Well, that was not supposed to happen. Obviously. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. See you on the next one. See ya.